In this video, we will learn how to design a BCD error, a binary coded decimal error. So the first question is, what is a binary coded decimal error? So it is a circuit that is able to perform addition between two binary coded decimal numbers. And I'm assuming that for this video, you already know the difference between a BCD number and a simple binary number. So for example, the uh, binary of 10 is 1010. Zero, one zero. This is the binary of 10, right? And the binary coded decimal value of 10 is uh, 0, 0, 0, 0001 and 0000. zero, zero, zero. Uh, that is, this refers to 1 and this refers to 0. So basically, we convert each digit into a separate binary number. That is the binary coded decimal number. Also, since every digit is converted separately, therefore, the only allowed digits are 0 to 9 because these are the only symbols that we have in decimal. And we have to convert each digit separately. And after 9, the decimal number becomes a two-digit decimal number, right? And for two digits, we have to convert them separately into two different codes. So for one digit, only the allowed numbers are 0 to 9. Secondly, I also assume that you already know uh, a, what is a binary error. So binary for binary addition, let's say you are supposed to add two one-bit numbers. You have a number A, you have another number B. Th their sum will be S. And if there is a carry, it can be carry out. And uh, for the case, there is a carry coming from the previous edition. That, is, that will be carry in, right? So these are the symbols and uh, a binary adder, and of course I'm talking about a full adder here. There are two types of binary adder, by the way, a full adder and a half adder. And for a full adder, it takes two uh, numbers and a carry in, and it gives out the sum and carry out. And whatever the circuit there is inside, we are not talking about it right now, and we can maybe do another video later on for this. And of course, a 4-bit binary adder will be something that will take two 4-bit binary numbers as an input and of course, a carry in. And it will output a 4-bit binary sum and of course, a carry out. Now, keeping this in mind, let's learn what is a binary adder and how to make one. We are designing a 1-bit BCD adder. So, let's take an example. The first number can be, let's say, 9. The second number can be, let's say, 3. Their sum will be 12, right? So, in, in binary, this will be 1, 1, 0, 0. But in BCD, this will be 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 0. This will be the BCD. Now, um, to make a BCD adder, we can use a simple binary adder. But the simple binary adder will give us this on the addition of 9 and 3. It's going to give us 12 and it will give it, it give that in the form of 1, 1, 0, 0. But we want it in this form, in the BCD form. So to convert this form towards this BCD form, we have to add six to it. We have we want it, we want it to jump six places ahead and be like this, right? Not like this because this is what we want. This is a BCD adder. So this is the only difference between a BCD adder and a binary adder. So to make a one-digit BCD adder, we will use a simple four-bit binary adder. Why four bits? Because you know that one digit of BCD has four bits in it, right? So a simple four-bit binary adder, and we will make a simple small change in it. That is whenever the sum is greater than nine, because the allowed digits are from zero to nine. So whenever the sum is greater than nine, we will add six in it. So that way it, it will jump six places ahead and it will be converted into two uh, digits, right? If it is greater than nine. So that's what we want. So we will only make that simple change and the rest of the circuit remains same. So let's see how can we do that.
This is a simple 4-bit binary adder. This is the first number. These are the 4 bits of second number. This is the carry. And these are the sum bits. So you can name them as S1, S2, S3, S4 as well if you want. But I have named them as Z1, Z2, Z4, Z8 uh, because of two reasons. One, because the book has done this in this way. And secondly, because this is not the final sum. We have to add plus 6 in it if, if the number is greater than 9. So the resultant uh, sum will be the final sum. That is why I'm not naming it S1. But you can name it whatever you want. These are just the variable names. All right. Now our next target is to check to identify if this sum is greater than 9. If it is greater than 9, then we will add 6 in it. So we have to design a circuit that can identify if the sum is greater than 9 or not. That is our goal. Now to design any circuit, the first thing is to identify the variables and the input output variables and the second thing is to make a truth table so through the truth table we design the circuit so we know the input variables are these four and uh, and this k as well these five and now we have to uh, make a truth table and then identify through that truth table now let's make that truth table now we know that our inputs are z1 z2 z four and z eight and also the carry out k all right and uh, the next thing is what will be the output the output can be let's say i'm going to write the decimal value here let's say the output is one if if two uh, B, two bcd numbers are added the output is one let's say right so the value will be zero 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 one carry will of course be zero if the output the sum is 2 the value will be 0 0 1 0 we are talking about if two numbers are added two bcd numbers are added the sum will be this because we are we have to make a circuit to identify if the sum is greater than 9 or not so we're talking about the sum so the if the sum is 2 this will be the output right so the question is how many numbers do we have to write here we have to write from 1 to 100 or by the way, I should write 0 here as well. The sum can be 0 as well. And for 0, the value is 0, 0, 0, 0. So how, how much do we have to go, right? So from 0 to 100, 0 to 1000, 0 to how many numbers? So uh, the answer to this is we are designing a 1-bit BCD adder. So if we are designing a 1-bit BCD adder, the number is the input is A and B. The maximum number, the maximum two numbers can be what the maximum number can be nine and the maximum of the second number can also be nine it can be nine plus nine right we are designing a one bit adder so we are just taking single digits the maximum number in a single digit can be nine for one number the maximum number for the other number in a single digit of course can be nine because bcd numbers are only from zero to nine so the maximum number can be 9 in both cases. And let's say the carry in also is also 1. The carry in can be 0 or 1. So the maximum number in the carry in can be 1. The maximum value can be 1. So what is the sum in this case? The sum becomes 19. So if we are designing a 1-bit BCD adder, the maximum sum that can occur here, the maximum sum that can occur, that, that can be 19, not more than that. So we will make a truth table that will start from 0 and it will go till 90. That's our goal, right? Okay, let's see that. Okay, so this is the truth table. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and so on. So the values from 0 till 9, these values are fine. But we have to design a circuit to identify these set of values in our truth table. These, this is 10 and this is 19. So from 10 to 19, we have to design a circuit that can identify these set of values in our truth table. And once we, we find them out, once we identify them, we will add the 6 in it. So to make them a BCD number, right, like this. This is the binary sum. This is the BCD sum. This is how you write in BCD and this is how you write in binary. And we will add 6 to make it look like this, right? So actually what we have to do is we have to identify these set of values in our 
truth table and we will write an equation to identify them let's do that this is the same truth table i have just made another table to make it more readable nothing else so these are the numbers from 0 to 9 and these are the numbers from 10 to 19 we don't want to identify these set of values but we have to identify these set of values which are from 10 to 19 so to write an equation to identify if the number is greater than um, 9 or not can you see a pattern here you have to write an equation that can detect these set of values but not these so the first thing is very clear you can see that k is 0 in all of these values but here you can see k is 1 so the first thing very very simple thing if you see here that k is 1 you can directly say that the sum has exceeded the value 9 because nowhere here it is 1 the value k the, the c out value the carry out value this variable k is nowhere here it is 1 but here it is 1 so we can you can we can directly say that for these set of values for 16 for 17 for 18 and 19 we can say the sum is has exceeded the value 9 if this is this is what comes in the input we can uh, we can clearly say that sum has exceeded so i can write k here if the value is if k is 1 we can simply say we can directly say that the sum is greater than 9 now these four values are done but what about these remaining values from 10 to 15 what about these can you find an, another pattern very simple see something here z8 and here you can see see that z8 is not one but z8 is one here right so if we write the equation that if we, if we put the logic that if z8 is one that number has exceeded nine we can't say that why because you can see that z8 is one here so if we put that equation, 8 and 9 will also be detected as greater than 9, which is not true. So you need to, you know, make a compound logic or something. You can add something else with this Z8. And I can, I can see that here Z8 is 1. And I can write if Z8 is 1 and Z4 is also 1, only then can the number be greater than 9. And I think that is true, right? You can see that nowhere here these both variables are one simultaneously at the same time z8 and z4 are not one at the same time anywhere in this table but here it is one so i can write the equation that z8 and z4 both are one at the same time so 12 13 14 and 15 will also be identified with this logic now i need another logic as well another equation as well to detect 10 and 11 to identify 10 and 11 we can see another pattern here that z8 is 1 and z2 is also 1 and that is not the case here so nowhere here is z8 and z2 1 at the same time so we can use this logic as well so z8 and z2 when both of them are 1 at the same time we can say that 10 and 11 are present so we can write the logic as z8 dot z2 so this is the final equation for identifying all of these uh, sums from 10 to 19 right this is what it is so finally we have found the equation this is this is our final equation right so we will just make a small circuit with this equation and we will put that circuit at the end of our binary adder so this was our four bit binary adder we will add this is the circuit this is the circuit that we just found this this equation this is this equation right so we will add this circuit here so in case the circuit is true that's this it gives us one right here it gives us one so if it is true we will add six here so this circuit is for adding 6, right? This circuit here is for adding 6. And finally, if the sum is greater than 9, 6 will be added. If it is not greater than 9, the previous sum will just be forwarded. And this is the final value. This is our final sum. So this is a proper one-digit PCD error. I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, do let me know.